Welcome to a very special Kitchen and John Show! Hey! 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 I like you. Oh, I like you too. Okay, well. <laughs> Uh, as as some of you may notice, I am not Jorn. No, uh, Jorn is actually filming this today. This episode of Kitchen and Jorn Show actually uh, features only Kitchen. And I'd like to introduce you to my lovely wife. Yes, hi, I'm Bree. That's me. Like yeah, the like cheese. the cheese, spelled spelled uh, spelled that way. Yes. Um, because that was the email address I could get on Gmail. This is your news, and mm -hmm. I would like you to tell everyone your news. Okay. As you might be able to tell, um, I have been uh, changing some things up about my gender presentation. Last year, around June, I came out as non-binary, mm -hmm. um, as, as some of you might know. You know, I don't want to take anything away from our non-binary siblings. Um, they are great and amazing and valid and wonderful, um, but that wasn't me, it turns out. One night, Kristen and I were together and just talking and I was able to uh, tell you that I am and have always been a woman. And this was in like April this yes. year? Yes. Yeah. So uh, we've actually been, I know it's actually been kind of like hard to keep yeah, a secret. Yeah, I, I know. It's actually, we've been, we yeah, have- you, you, You've had to kind of operate on two levels I here. I know. We have known about this for a while, but Brie was not ready to go by a new name and new pronouns yet. So we respected that, and that's why when you see other videos on this channel, we refer to her as her dead name, mm -hmm. and also with old pronouns. Yes. With my express permission, and uh, uh, honestly, I wanted it that way. I just, I just, I wasn't ready to make this kind of statement yet. Um, yeah. And now I feel like I'm, uh, I'm in a place, you know, where this is something that I want to share with. Uh, with everyone. If for also whatever reason you see videos that come out after this that also were referred to her with her dead name and pronouns, it's because we film these videos out of order. Yeah, no need to get upset on my behalf. Once videos start coming out with uh, with my correct uh, name and pronouns, um, then when people mess up, you can be upset on my behalf. But until then, no fighting. I love fighting though. You we do will, love fighting. We will fight. Bitches. We will yeah. fight people. Yeah. Turves. Uh, so your chosen name is actually very similar to your dead name. It is. It is. And that's not a direction that a lot of people go with. I mean, I was just idly thinking like about about names, and you know, I stumbled upon just going from dead name to Brie, and I was like, huh, that's really cute. Maybe I should just stick with that. It'd be easier for people, probably. And I was, at first I was kind of worried about that. Yeah. Because honestly, I thought that you were going to not like how much it sounded like your dead name. Yeah. I thought that you were making the choice because it was going to be convenient for others mm -hmm. and not because you liked it. And so I was just like, are you sure? And then you would be like, don't worry. And so we don't have to change monogram towels. And I'm like, we don't have monogram towels, but it's been several months and you, yeah. this is the name. This is the name. This is the name of people are using it. I'm answering into it. Yeah. You, you were know, able to secure all your socials. Yeah. So don't try and squat. You squat on those socials, we'll fight you. Just squat on my wife's socials. People might ask why I make a video about this because this channel is about you and Jen. It's not about you and the beautiful woman who lives in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, to that, I would say we wanted to find a way to disseminate this information as quickly and as cleanly as possible. Yeah. Like for example, you can make tweets and Instagrams and like announcements about a video, but it's really hard to make a video about like a tweet. So with this, we can make a video. We can kind of spread it against all channels at the same mm -hmm. time. And honestly, that's easier for you. It's easier for me. Yeah. yeah. This is this is uh, one of the reasons why I uh, felt comfortable to come for to, to to do this is because it's just efficient. And as an engineer, I just prize efficiency. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a big old nerd. <laughs> you are such a nerd. Yeah. I mean, not we, to be a stereotype, but yeah. The worst thing is to continually have, have to, to come out a million. Yeah. And, and, and to have to remind people, and you're not sure who saw and who didn't, but now... You can just point to the video and be like, yeah. you didn't watch the video! You didn't, and that now I'm mad on your behalf. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah now you've hurt two people. Exactly. We're gonna fight. I love fighting. Here's the thing about me, and I think that's actually why we're like well-suited together, mm -hmm. is like, I love fighting. And I 
do not. I used to be not good at fighting, and now I'm really, oh, now you're, now now I'm you're really right. good at fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's generally speaking, don't get in a fight with me because you, no. you will lose. No, it's it's sort of like you know, I, I know this goes against common wisdom, but early in his career, the Undertaker was not actually that great. He was a great gimmick, not the best in-ring performer until about like 2000, 2001, and then he really stepped up his game. And that's kind of where you're at now. Now you're now you're now you're a legend. You're you, you've got your undefeated streak at WrestleMania. We we can cut this because this, this is awful. Out. So you're like Stone Cold Steve Austin. So basically, what we what the great thing about this is that you are still the same person. Yes, uh, yes, as I've just demonstrated, I'm still making really dumb comparisons that no one cares about. You're just pretty. A lot of the reason why we wanted to make this video is we wanted to make a video that would answer some basic questions mm -hmm. that we wanted to answer. Yes. Uh, so that we didn't spend, you know. A lot of time answering them. Yeah. I have a question. What's your question, Jack? <laughs> what do y'all want to do for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the biggest one people are going to have is what does this mean for Kristen and, and my relationship? Yeah, are we still together? Are we still together? Yes. The answer is yes. Yes. We are, this is, this we are is, very together. We, we are very together. Yes. I did her hair and her makeup. Uh -huh. was, I, yeah, she's been she's been teaching me to lady. It's been really sweet. Yes. It's so strange. Mm -hmm. that when I, people assume People that, assume yeah. this is like the end. Yeah. And it's also why I've kind of been like, gay! And people are like, you're not though. And I'm mm -hmm. like, mm, you Maybe. don't know! <laughs> Yes, we are still together. Mm -hmm. It's like... We have no plans to not be together. Yeah. yeah. If for whatever reason, you know, that changes, I'm sure there'll be like another video where it's like mm -hmm. badly lit and I'm looking at the camera and I'm like, it's four in the morning. I don't know where my socks are. No I one's done dishes in years. <laughs> I don't do dishes. No. No, you don't. It's fine. It's... It oh, you want to fight? Did you want to fight? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I never fight Jen. That would win. So the next question that people uh, ask is, uh, how is your transition going? Which, none of your business. Number one. Number two, quite well. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been on hormones for a few months now and, um, you know, starting vocal training, uh, as you can tell from the fact that I'm still speaking in this mellifluous baritone, going well, I think. You know, I feel, I feel a lot better, happier in my own skin. And I think that like for a long time, you kind of felt like you just couldn't do it. That yeah. you were like too old mm -hmm. or too whatever. Or right, that's the transphobia built into society. At once you get two messages, you're you're too young to transition. You don't know what you're. You don't know that this is what you want. And then you're too old to transition. You missed your. You missed your window. You have like a two day period. Yeah. Where it's just like if you don't transition at midnight on your 25th birthday. Yeah. No point in. Th that's not true. If anyone takes anything away from this, it's that if you are feeling like this is something that you need to do, then it's something that you should do because it's, you're. It's just going to be better for you. You're like a happier person, you're a more comfortable person. Yeah, I think so. Like you just feel, I feel like your brain is like a less scary place to be. Yeah, well I'm not I'm not having to do a lot of like work to present myself as something that I'm not right now. Mm -hmm. See, I'm fixing your hair. This is actually the first day that Brie has ever curled her hair. And by mm -hmm. Brie, I mean I curled it. Yeah, well. It looks so cute, I know, I've never seen you, cause like you have the same hair texture I do. Yeah. And so I was just kind of like. Oh, I know. The thing I do to my hair. Where's your makeup from? Uh, uh, this, my foundation is from CoverGirl. Um, the blush is from... Okay, I'm gonna do this faster. Yeah, go for uh, it. Foundation, blush, and lip tint are all CoverGirl cruelty free. Mm -hmm. So CoverGirl. Yes, CoverGirl. So uh, eyeshadow is Rare Beauty, and uh, mascara is the balm. The first time I did makeup on you, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, your skin is that nice. Well, and you've been wanting me to wear lipstick or lip lip coloring of some sort for years. I mean, you have nice lips. Yeah, it's I just, do. It's just like, I know, you just have a really pretty face. It's Thank like, you. I know, even today when I was doing your makeup, I was like, now I gotta curl my stupid hair because I look as cute as the breeze. <laughs> Stupid hot wife. <laughs> it's harder for me. I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry. I'm really not. So, what other things? Oh, um, what? How'd you get so cute? Well, it has got to be born with a baby. Other questions people might ask us mm -hmm. that we are actually willing to answer. Yeah. How did your family? React. My siblings and my mom have been incredibly supportive. Um, 
you know, it helps that, you know, my mom's from an incredibly queer family. Yeah, you, you literally um. <laughs> have, like, the most gay people in your family per capita yeah. of any family I've ever encountered in the wild. And my dad doesn't know uh, because I truly don't care what he knows about. Oops. Yeah, well, shouldn't have done that, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> How did my family react? Um. Fine. Fine. Your dad actually reacted quite well. My dad reacted... Fine. What, are you like a big old les now? <laughs> I do not currently identify as a lesbian. I would say I'm queer. Mm -hmm. um, because I am still, unfortunately, sometimes attracted to men. It's really, it's just, you know, it's every day a woman finds that she is unfortunately still attracted to men. Mm -hmm. But you can make a difference. You can't actually. There's, yeah, there's, yeah, nothing, no, there's, you, there's nothing you can do about that. They've tried. Uh, we've tried. Trust me, I've tried. I have always kind of been more lady leaning anyway. Absolutely. So honestly, this kind of worked out. <laughs> How do you identify? I'd say mostly attracted to women. Okay. So, you know, I, I think lesbian is just the most. Yeah. Makes the most sense. And also, if you yell at her because that's not an accurate use of lesbian, I will come after you. I love, I love to fight. Just leave her alone. Leave my wife alone. <laughs> Literally leave my, if you take away nothing else from this video, it's that you better leave my wife alone. I am a wife guy now. <laughs> <laughs> Understand my power. We are a marriage of, of two wife guys. Yeah, we're two wife guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do you share clothes? Um. Well, I've inherited some clothes from you that you no longer wear. Yeah, I think like you're actually smaller than me. Mm -hmm. So we don't share clothes currently, but sometimes if I've outgrown something, I'll be like, here you go. Take my garbage. <laughs> uh, no, they're very, it's all very nice stuff. You kind of get first crack at the dresses I don't fit into anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Shut <the> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Here's the thing also, we have different styles. Yes. Um, things that I like to wear are kind of not things that you necessarily like to wear. Right. Well, I'm still developing my style. Yeah. But by and large, yeah, that's right. Because this actually, this is probably the most similar thing to my style that you yes. own. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this or that Christmas dress I have. What Christmas dress? The one from Lunchbox? Yeah. It's plaid. Oh, I was like, I don't remember. Right. I only think about me. Yeah. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Get her! One thing people might be wondering is... Um, oh, wait, I'm oh, sorry. I'm, like, I'm doing this while yeah, you're saying that. Yeah, don't yeah, do don't that. do that. <laughs> Are you sure? No, that. No, I shouldn't be like... <laughs> don't do well, that. No, no, you shouldn't do that. I shouldn't, it shouldn't be like... No. Okay, well, I gotta work on it. Cause, uh, anyway, continue. Okay. Um, one thing people might be wondering is how I feel about um, the fact that, you know, since I'm in a relationship with you and I'm a peripheral character in this, in the general Kristen Cherico universe... Um, KCU! Yep, <laughs> that uh, you know this this is a little more public than it might be for others. You've never pushed me to be to be in anything or you know share with anyone that any, anything that more than what I'm comfortable with. I wanted to make this video, uh, for example. I thought a lot about this because like I I feel really bad because I feel like the thing is if it weren't for me, you would basically have come out to all relevant parties. I mean, obviously coming out is a continual process. It mm -hmm. lasts your entire life. Yeah. You are always coming out to someone. Mm -hmm. um, but and that's, it's, it's, it's part of the heteronormativity of our society that you're even forced to come out. That straightness and cisness are considered the default. I am cognizant. Oh, you look so pretty. I am cognizant of the fact that we are together means that there's like an extra step for you, you know? Yeah, well, what you gonna do? Make a video about it. Yeah, for like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe to our Patreon so we can buy better tripods. How do you feel now? How are you feeling? I feel great. <laughs> Case closed, bitch! Yeah, you want <laughs> <laughs> I feel less like I'm wearing a costume every day. Yeah, I think that's one something I've noticed is that it used to be that I feel like you spent so much time and energy mm -hmm. with creating the personality that was yeah. your dead name. Yes. And that didn't leave you with a lot of energy to do other things. It did, truly did not. Gotta be boy, gotta be boy. And yeah. uh, now me girl now. And um, <laughs> things are just better. Just so much better. I'm much happier now. Oh. I would say I'm happier now. Yeah. You're definitely happy. I mean, you seem happier now. Mm -hmm. You see, oh, I gotta work on this bag. I think it's because of this cowlick. 
Yeah, yeah, that cowlick's been there my entire life. It's the bane of my existence. Well, it's, about, it's about to be the bane of mine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Marriage! I know, I was curling your hair today and I was just like, you're gonna have to learn how to do this yourself. I am. But I'm gonna have to learn to do lots of stuff myself. I still, I still spend more days than I prefer in boy mode just because I, I just need to get girl basics. It's a lot of work. That is one thing that I will say. It is a lot of work. And uh, it's, it's a thing I'm just gonna have to do more. I'm just gonna have to get in the habit of doing. Yeah. I think also like, you know, you've been on hormones since August. Yes. And there have been so many changes even since then. Yeah. I've always been told that like hormones is like a years long process. Yes, you and know, it is. It, it is. But even with even since August, I'm just like, wow, you look very different. <laughs> <laughs> you just are very you carry yourself very differently. Yeah. Some of that is just, you know, a com you know, a comfort thing of, you know, just me being more Com comfortable in my own skin, but yeah, you know, some of that is the hormones and like you know, it's not like there's zero effect. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, also like you know, I'm very jealous. Like you have a very pretty face. It's like, come on. It's like so you do you. Okay, citation needed. Wow, it's like no one will, no one around here lets me be self-deprecating. Yeah, you're yeah your no. Best friend are not gonna call you ugly when it's first of all, it's not true. Second of all, yeah. we're just not gonna call you ugly. Yeah, okay, no. Okay, well, whatever. I want a refund on this. So, how's it been like dealing with me? With you? Yeah. Um, it's been it's been really good, you know. You've been you've been. You say that while you're like you're literally physically oh, taking your ring off. Sorry, it, that's, <laughs> this is this is how I tw this is this is I, I, it, it, it's just a twiddling response. I know. All right, let's do this again. Let's do it again. What was it like having to come out to me? Uh, scary. That was because you were the first person I came out. You know, you were the first person I came out well, to. The first person you come out to is, is yourself. yourself. That was scary. Yeah, that, that took, took a, forever. Yeah, that took a long time. It took, you know, that took. 32 and almost 33 years. Yeah, because how long before you told me had you kind of come out to yourself, you think? Maybe a few months. It was scary because you're the most important person in my life. I didn't want it to be a thing that got between us. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter if it got between us because it was something I needed to do. It's true. And that's what I finally realized. And luckily, it did. This is what I've spent uh, quarantine doing, really. It is true, it is funny, because I feel like a lot of our friends haven't seen you. They haven't. Since before quarantine. No. You kind of went into quarantine in boy mode, mm -hmm. and then you're going to emerge as the woman you have always been. Exactly. The thing is, your skin's so soft now, too. I know. It's like, the thing is- I, 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 need to, I need to get laser on my arms oh at my some God. point. <laughs> I feel like every time it's like compliment, you're just like, but what but, about but the But what problem? if it could be better? Yeah, and it's like welcome to womanhood, I guess. Yeah, Honestly, I mean, you have been doing that for eight years, yeah. and uh, it pisses me off to no end. So, uh, <laughs> turnabout is fair play. It's true, bitch. <laughs> thing is that there's so many ways in which you are kind of integrating yourself into the female experience. Mm -hmm. You'll kind of look on Instagram and be like, I'll never be as hot as her. Yeah. And I'm just like, listen, just take your titty pills mm. and calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's, it's only been three months. It's been three months. It's so amazing how different you are though. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, you know, when we come out of quarantine, people are gonna be like, what the heck? Who yeah, is this we'll, hot woman who's uh, been living in your house? <laughs> so anyway, that's our video in which my wife comes out. Yeah. We'll probably make more content about this, mm -hmm. but this was a sort of an informational seminar, just in case you would like some knowledge. Mm-hmm. Just a, uh, 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 I had a pun. My wife. My. Look at that. Here's the thing, now we can both say my yeah. wife. Yeah, give it a give. Just give it a give, try. Give, give it a try. Give it a try. My wife. Yeah, yeah. It, it, how do you like the the mouth feel of that? It's, wait, it's wait, good. Wait, wait, wait. Redo it. My wife. And she's better than you. Yeah, I know. I've she, had practice. She has more experience. Bree is here. She's a part of mm -hmm. this house, and yeah. we're very happy that she is happy. Mm -hmm. And if you get on the internet and you yell at her, I will find you. She will. I will fight you. It, oh. You know, she'll just just insert the whole take end speech. I will fight you. If you. F are transphobic on this channel, I swear to God. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah, there's, there will be no tolerance. The hammer's coming down. There will be no toleration. Obviously, there was never any toleration for transphobia, but now that there's more things to talk about in relation to trans issues, 
there really is no tolerance for transphobia. Just when you're typing, be like, would I want Kristen to show up to my house and With tell a ball peen hammer and just. <laughs> and a sock full of nickels. Yeah. yeah would, you want, would I want Kristen to show up while I'm sleeping with a sock full of nickels, telling me that she knows all of my childhood fears and saying that she laundered all my money and now is gonna take it to buy a jet ski in Cancun? If the answer is no, don't write it. Mostly just because jet ski maintenance is, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> Here's the thing, yeah, it's like if Kristen doesn't wanna do something, it might still happen, but if Bree doesn't wanna do something, it's definitely not happening. <laughs> So be nice, be cool. Mm -hmm. This is a friendly zone. Yeah. It's all girls. It is. It's all girls hour. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just girly things. Just girls who like girls. There's yeah. no rules. Kitchen and drawer, now 50% gayer than it was before. Yes. Anyway, anyway bye. 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 I love you. Love you, bye. Oh, this is so cute. Mm. Aw, y'all did great. Yeah, it's great. Let's do it again.